What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. She's talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 here again today. And shout out to Phoenix Phoenician Athletics. Hopefully you know who I'm talking about if I'm pronouncing your name right. You left this comment down in the last video, which got my mind thinking that that, that would actually be a good and very sick way to end the upcoming film. So we're going to talk about another way Jeepers Creepers 4 could end. And just, I guess, this could be a way to give Jonathan Brick a small cameo if in fact uh they were to go this route and and a route i think many of us would be pleased with if if it went down like this we know jonathan brick will not be the primary creeper that we see on screen this time around we know he's not going to be the one behind the makeup it's someone named jaru benjamin again hopefully you hopefully you knock it out of the park and bring your own unique style to it can't wait to see how your iteration of the creeper differs from his and what kind of uh homage and respect you pay to the stuff he brought to it etc while doing your own unique thing but i know in the past video i talked about the fact of chase giving himself up to save lane and the creeper actually taking chase up on that offer unlike with trisha where she was just ignored and he went off with dairy because i guess trisha just ultimately did not have anything that the creeper liked <laughs> Despite her being terrified, there was nothing he could smell from her that said, you know what, I'm going to take you up on that trade. He said, no, I don't want anything from you. Uh, I get that you're scared and I, I'm, I'm flattered, but you you don't do it for me. It's it's dairy. So jumping into Chase and Lane, what if instead of taking one or the other, the creeper, again, shout out to you, Phoenix, takes both of them, takes both Chase and Lane. And we know that in the poster, there is a image of a baby carriage. Now, I know a lot of people were honing in on what does that mean? What does that mean? And I, I think there's a tagline saying death gives it death gives it new life or death gives it life, uh, which, again, you could interpret that many ways. You can interpret that as being just another way of talking about every 23rd spring for 23 days it gets to eat because death does indeed give it new life. It kills people, takes certain limbs from them and regenerates its own body as a result. So with the baby carriage maybe there's something more to it we know that chase is going to be proposing or it appears that they had filmed something regarding lane getting abducted that included chase proposing to her at the horror hound festival before the creeper swoops down and interrupts the proposal which is what i guess prompts them all to end up at that new house of pain where lane is and trying to save her then they all get separated and they have their own little encounters with the creeper one by one because now he has a whole buffet besides just lane so like what happens is maybe lane is also pregnant maybe lane is also pregnant maybe we actually find that out early on in the film too maybe we find out that lane is pregnant but i know i've talked about the fact that maybe chase is out here for a specific reason like he actually wanted to go out to the taggart barn and everything like that but talking about lane really quick maybe she's actually pregnant and maybe we learned that very early on in the film. And maybe this is why Chase, while he had plans to always marry this woman, of course, getting her pregnant probably sped things up in his mind. And he's doing something to kind of just show that he's not going anywhere. He loves her and he wants to stick by her side. And he wants to, of course, raise the baby. So what if at the end of all this, hopefully fun that we have with this film, we get to see Lane and chase in the creeper layer i'm assuming it's going to be something completely different from the house of pain that we see right now because there's going to be too many people swarming it trying to save everybody he takes them to a new house of pain and he kills both of them um and then again shout out to you phoenix you say he could of course again do something crazy with their bodies like how he did with dairy and we saw that we could see something very gruesome like that at the end of jeepers creepers 4 before we jump to seeing him move on to something he has pulled out of lane which could be a baby fetus of some sort depending on how how depending on how long i guess or how how near she is with giving birth of course that'll also play a factor but maybe there's something inside her that's like a baby fetus he, the creeper could pull it out the creeper could digest said baby fetus and you know again that's probably just something that i know for a fact would kind of just unnerve anyone watching because i know i would hope a lot of you watching me are fans of children you love children don't want anything like that to of course happen to a child in real life and just the thought of seeing that that definitely is going to send send chills down anyone's spine anyone who is i would say of a person that has a good heart someone who adores children 
and understands that they are the future you should be protecting them you should not let something like that happen to them and this of course isn't even a child that's fully developed at all and then to have the creeper just consume it you know that's just going to be something that's even more kind of just unnerving to watch and then here's the part that i think will have fans going crazy when he eats this fetus the creeper could then come up after eating the fetus we see some type of transformation or get an in indication of some type of final transformation occurring where he rises up or it rises up turns around and we see jonathan breck really quickly before the film cuts to black he gives a quick smile to the camera back in his full form the creeper we all know and love film ends showing the creeper back to his full health and it's not to say that the fetus is what did it but like the, the anything could have done it but it's the fact that you know he's been eating so much and he's been growing over the course of the film the fetus was the final nail in the coffin now we see the jonathan breck iteration of the creeper and then the film ends with him smiling i think a lot of fans would enjoy an ending like that i think a lot of fans would enjoy seeing jonathan breck back in that small capacity and if they do make jeepers creepers five and six i think a lot of you would also latch on to the fact that this means that they intend to bring him back to play the creeper in future entries and they only use ja Ru for the reawakening creeper to show him slowly progressing to the form that we all know and love about him when Jonathan Breck was playing him. So as far as like what would happen with some of the things you guys want to have cut from the film, you know, I'm all for having the Batmobile cut. I'm all for those special powers being cut. If you're not going to portray them un in a fashion that's not cartoony, I'm all for that stuff being cut. I know a lot of you said the whole movie should be forgotten. <laughs> I mean, you can't you you can't do that in the sense of you can you don't have to reference it. Just don't reference it. I mean, Scream does that so well. They don't really reference too many of the sequels outside of constantly referencing the original Billy and Stu, Billy and Stu. You don't have to specifically reference anything from that horrendous third film that we got. Uh, you can leave it canon. But yes, I would ignore certain powers that we know exist. You don't have to say the powers aren't there anymore, but just ignore them because they came off very bad in Jeepers Creepers 3. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. How would you like that ending to occur? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there is any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.